So we are at the Temple Institute. It's basically an institute or a group of Jews who have prepared everything for the restoration of the new temple. And so we're going to get a tour of all the equipment that they have studied the scriptures and they are preparing for the rebuilding of the temple. And interestingly, you know, Revelation says that the Antichrist will come and lift his self up in the temple. So this temple has to be first built and then we will see the Antichrist coming. <laughs> First of all, a place outside the city walls in the days of Jesus. Secondly, they look for a place of uh, Golgotha or a uh, place of skull. Thirdly, they look for a garden. And fourthly, a tomb. We'll look at all these. That also is built on foundations that go back to... So in this garden tomb or in this garden really Mary Magdalene would have seen Jesus and where she thought that he was a gardener just imagine when she sees Jesus and when Jesus says Mary and she turns around and says Rabboni Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega.
Nothing compares to this. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Because God gave His only Son. The only Son is the Lamb of God. Die for us. So today we can really. But Jesus, he waiting, offer. Thank you, Jesus. Wait. Yeah. And thank you, Jesus. And encourage. Thank you. And every thank you. Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow, it's been an amazing day. So much to take in, you know, um, going to so many different places. Uh, the tomb, the Garden of Gethsemane, Peter's place of denial, um, the upper room. What a powerful day this has been and so touching uh, just to know these have been the very places that Jesus walked, was beaten, crucified and resurrected because we ended up at the garden tomb and definitely the grave was empty. There was no one inside because he is risen.